So Sergio Martinez defeats Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Unanimous de decision over 12 rounds. Before I get into that, I just want to address my absence. I've been away from YouTube for the last week. The reason being is my account actually got suspended. Some fool decided to start flagging my videos, um, which resulted in my account getting suspended. Um, I appealed the suspension and I appealed the, the, um, the decision of YouTube to take down one of my videos that got flagged. Um, it seems that in the, in the time between my appeal and now, uh, my appeal was accepted by YouTube. They put my video back up. Um, so, you know, the suspension was lifted. I didn't even realize, but that's the reason I didn't do no prediction videos this week because my account was actually suspended. So we, it, it, it disabled my ability to upload any videos. But anyway, we're back up now. So yeah, let's get into this fight, man. Um, Martinez against Chavez Jr. I thought that this fight would be a difficult fight for Martinez. I thought it would be one of his most difficult fights in recent years. It actually turned out to be at least for the first 11 rounds, it turned out to be one of his easiest fights of his entire career. Um, very easy fight for, for uh, Martinez. Um, you know, uh, the big thing in this fight was, was always going to be whether Martinez could get Chavez Jr.'s respect, right? Because Chavez Jr. is a relentless pressure fighter, yeah? Um, and with guys like that, you have to be able to get their respect with your own punching power to keep them off. And that was a big question. Would Martinez be able to do it? And I had my doubts about whether he could. You know, Andy Lee couldn't do it. Um, obviously, Andy Lee's not as skillful as, as Martinez. Nowhere near as quick or athletic. But Andy Lee's a decent puncher. He's not a devastating knockout artist, but he's a decent puncher. And he was catching Chavez Jr. in there. And Chavez Jr. was just just laughing at him. I mean, it didn't, didn't affect him in the slightest, you know. So, um, you know, I, I was wondering whether... Martinez would be able to keep Chavez Jr. off. But it turns out that Martinez was able to get Chavez Jr.'s respect very early on. And Chavez Jr. was intimidated by Martinez's speed and his power. And he was very tentative about just coming forward and, and letting his hands go. And um, literally for the first 11 rounds, this was an exhibition. And Martinez was doing as he pleased. There was even points where Martinez was happy to fight on the inside against Chavez Jr. because he was so much quicker than Chavez Jr. His hands were so much quicker, his reflexes were so much quicker that he felt comfortable fighting on the inside because it, it took Chavez Jr. so long to get his punches off. Even when he had Martinez up against the ropes, you know, you could, you could count the seconds <laughs> before Chavez Jr. was able to crank up his, up his hooks and, uh, and actually get some punches off. He was so slow to get, to get the punches off. Very slow reflexes. You know, and, and in the end, um, Chavez Jr.'s supposed weight advantage actually turned out to be his biggest disadvantage. Yeah, because he was so slow in there. So slow, couldn't get his punches off quick enough. No jab. You know, a jab would have been a good weapon in this fight for, um, for Chavez Jr. I know Kelly Pavlik had a, a bit of success with his jab when he fought Martinez, but there was no jab from Chavez Jr. Um, very, very basic. What he was trying to do in there, just come forward and walk Martinez down. None of it worked. Martinez just had a field day in there. And at points, it looked like he might stop Chavez Jr. He was beating him up. You know, Chavez was bleeding from the mouth, bleeding from the nose. His eyes swole up like a tennis ball. Um, he was just beating the shit out of the kid. The kid showed a lot of heart. No question about it, showed a lot of heart. Um, but he was just getting beaten up and literally it was a shutout for Martinez. And then in the last round, I think Martinez got a bit too cocky. Um... He was trying to finish Chavez Jr. off. You could tell Martinez throughout the whole fight wanted the knockout and he was going for it. And he was even going for it in the last round. And he got a bit too cocky for his own good. Um, I think Chavez hit Martinez with a hook and Martinez kind of stumbled off balance. I don't think he was really hurt at that stage. He stumbled off balance and his head went through the ropes. And when his head went through the ropes, Chavez Jr. followed up with another couple, couple hooks that did hurt Martinez and actually managed to drop him. Martinez got up and he was hurt. He was badly hurt. His legs was gone. He was tired. He was holding on. He was trying to move around. But, you know, Martinez survived it and, um, you know, saw the final bell and won a very wide and very deserved unanimous points decision. Um, there's, there's talk of a rematch in this fight, you know, of this fight now. Um, I hope that don't happen because really and truly the only reason why... Um, Martinez got, got caught in the last round as far as I'm concerned is because he allowed himself to get caught because he was going for the knockout himself. Um, it's true that in a rematch, Chavez Jr. will probably have a bit more confidence because now he knows that he can hurt Martinez. 
But at the same time, I think that might play into Martinez's hands because if Chavez Jr. goes in there, you know, and lets his hands go even more, then he's going to leave himself open even more, right? And it's going to give uh, Sergio more opportunity to land his own shots. You understand? So I, I don't see a rematch going any any way different than the first fight. Um, if there's a, if there's a stoppage in a rematch, I think there's more chance of Chavez Jr. being stopped. To be honest, yeah, if he wants to start letting his hands go, he's going to leave himself open and he's going to get himself hurt. So um, I don't want to see that fight, but I wouldn't be surprised if it actually happens because Sergio Martinez is 37 years old now. He hasn't made the big money in boxing that. Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather and Miguel Cotto have made. He hasn't made that kind of money and he wants to make that kind of money before he retires. He's 37 years old, you understand? Um, and he might see a Chavez Jr. rematch as easy money. So why not take it? You know, rather than fighting a dangerous guy like Gennady Golovkin, who is pretty much unknown apart from hardcore boxing fans, no one really knows about Golovkin. It would not, the fight wouldn't sell that much. You understand? Uh, he could move up and face Andre Ward. But again, Andre Ward is not one of the biggest draws in boxing at the moment. You know what I mean? He's, 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 he, did his, uh, he did his market value a lot of good with the Chad Dawson win, but he's still not up there with the big, big earners. You understand? Um, so I don't think Martinez will take that fight either. I think that fight is too risky for Martinez. Don't, don't get it twisted. I'd like to see it. But I just don't think Martinez is, is going to be willing to take that kind of risk at this stage. I don't think he'll fight Ward. Um... Uh, I think more than, and I don't think he'll fight Golovkin. I think that's another fight that he'll think is too risky for not enough reward. Um, even though I'd like to see that as well. I'd love to see the Golovkin fight, but I just don't think Martinez is going to have the, <laughs> you know, the stomach for that fight at, at the moment. I, I'm not saying Martinez is a coward or anything like that. Um, if Golovkin was a big name in the sport, I think Martinez would take it. But, you know, at, at this stage, I don't think Golovkin has enough you know, market value for Martinez to want to take that risk. I think more than likely he will actually take the Chavez Jr. rematch. He might even go after a Canelo fight. Um, uh, the one fight that Martinez wants more than any other fight, though, and the fight that he will definitely be going for first and foremost is a fight with Floyd Mayweather. But that fight won't happen for one very simple reason. Floyd Mayweather don't want it to happen. Floyd Mayweather is not going to fight Sergio Martinez, Yeah. People have very unrealistic expectations when it comes to Floyd Mayweather. Um, Floyd has never been a big risk taker in his career. Yeah, especially when it comes to his career north of 140 pounds. Right, as soon as he moved up to 141, 47, look at the opponents he's been facing. Yeah, he's not a guy that's going to take the big risks and fight a guy as physically big as Sergio Martinez. He's not a Sugar Ray Leonard. He's not Roy Jones Jr. who are going to jump up late in their career and fight someone way bigger than them who's a dominant champion. You know, may, uh, <coughs> um, Ray Leonard jumped up, obviously, and fought one of the greatest, if not the greatest, middleweight champion of all time in um, Marvin Hagler, right? Uh, Roy Jones was fighting. Most of his opponents were bigger than him, longer reach, heavier, everything. Most of his opponents were bigger than him at light heavyweight. Then he jumped up to heavyweight and won a, a version of the world title there. Um, Floyd Mayweather's never been that kind of fighter. He's not a risk taker inside the ring. He's not a risk taker outside the ring. He's very careful about who he picks and who he fights. And he's not going to fight Sergio Martinez, right? A prime Floyd Mayweather or, or close to prime Floyd Mayweather struggled in the early rounds, right? Against an on the slide Zab Judah. <laughs> right let's be realistic about it. Floyd is slower than he was then he gets hit more than he than he did then he don't have the legs that he had then right Floyd Mayweather look how, how much how often he got hit against Miguel Cotto you think he's gonna fight Sergio Martinez Sergio Martinez is bigger he's he's got quicker feet he's got a better work rate he hits harder he's got a longer reach than Floyd right he'll be able to stay on the outside and pot shot with that left hand, Floyd won't be able to counter him because Martinez has got quicker feet and he's got a longer reach, right? The guys that Floyd's been fighting where he's been, he's been you know, showing this excellent counter punching ability, they've all been guys with shorter arms than himself. And in most cases, they've actually been shorter in height than himself. Martinez is taller than Floyd. He's got longer arms. He's quicker at long range, stronger. Floyd's not going to take the fight. Yeah, because and, and if, if he does take the fight, I give him full credit for taking it because it's a huge risk. Um, 
but he's not going to take the fight because he knows that the things I'm saying are true. <laughs> you understand? And if he did take the fight, I will tell you from now, I pick Sergio Martinez to win. Without a shadow of a doubt, I pick him to beat Floyd Mayweather. Um, I just can't see Floyd dealing with that kind of speed on the outside, um, the longer reach. I mean, Floyd Mayweather's only fought one fighter in his entire career who had a longer reach than himself, and that was Oscar De La Hoya. And that fight went to a split decision. And that was against an over-the-hill De La Hoya. Right? And this was a, a, a much younger Mayweather <laughs> who fought that De La Hoya. You honestly trying to tell me that that 30, 33 or 34-year-old De La Hoya, who is not a, a massive guy himself, he, he also started his career at 130 pounds like Floyd. You're trying to tell me that Sergio Martinez is not a hell of a lot better than the, the De La Hoya that Floyd Mayweather fought? Come on, <laughs> Martin is a hell of a lot better than, than uh, De La Hoya, right? Much more difficult to fight, much quicker on the outside, bigger puncher. Hey, listen, come on, Floyd is not gonna, he's not gonna take the fight. And like I say, I would pick Martinez in a heartbeat in that fight. Um, but like I said, it's, 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 it's kind of a catch-22 situation because I think Martinez is, is, is not gonna wanna take a risk against an Andre Ward or a Golovkin but Floyd is not going to want to take a risk against him at a lower weight and Pacquiao forget about Pacquiao Pacquiao no way in hell Pacquiao will fight Martinez either yeah the the, the two big names um down at um you know 147 and 154 Pacquiao and Floyd neither of them are going to take a fight with Martinez the only one who might take a fight with Martinez the only two who might possibly take fights with Martinez is uh, Miguel Cotto if he gets past Austin Trout because Cotto's a warrior he seems to be willing to fight <laughs> fight anyone he might take a fight with Martinez um, but he'd get fucked up in that fight <laughs> let me tell you that from now that's what that's my opinion I think uh, Martinez will fuck him up um, Canelo maybe maybe Canelo I, I don't know I mean even if Canelo wanted it I don't think um, Golden Boy would want to put Canelo in there with, against Martinez um but you know it, it is what it is. I think I think the most likely fight. This is sad to say, but I think the most likely fight for uh, Martinez next is going to be a Chavez Jr. rematch. <laughs> uh, I hate to say it, man. I hate to say it, and I, I would hate to see it. But you know, there you go. The, the fight I would actually like to see Martinez in with next. The opponent I'd like to see him in with next is definitely Gennady Golovkin. I would love to see that fight. Um, even Dmitry Pirog might be interesting, but Golovkin is the fight I really want to see. But I'm not sure if, if Martinez wants to take that risk at this stage. But anyway, here's what it is. Let me know what you lot think in the comment section below. Who do you think Martinez is going to fight next? Who do you think he will fight next? Um, how do you think he'll do against any of those opponents that I've been you know, talking about? Um, in terms of Mayweather, obviously, people are still speculating about Mayweather, who he's going to fight next. I think for Floyd Mayweather, the most likely opponents for Mayweather is going to be um, the winner of... Koto against Austin Trout. I think that's, especially if Koto wins. If Koto beats Austin Trout, Floyd will fight a rematch with Miguel Koto. Yeah, I'm sure of that. Um, if Trout wins, mm, it, I don't know. It depends how impressive Trout looks. If Trout really does a, a number in, uh, on, uh, on Miguel Koto and looks really good and hardly takes any punches back, I'd be surprised if Floyd even wants to fight him, but he may still fight him. Um, but I think that's the most likely uh, fight next for Floyd Mayweather is the winner of uh, uh, Austin Trout against Miguel Cotto um, Canelo is definitely a, a possibility for Floyd I think Canelo's a you know strong young fighter but to me I still think Canelo struggles with movement and I think I, I would make Floyd the favourite to beat Canelo I don't think it would be necessarily an easy fight Canelo's very strong um, very powerful very heavy handed kid very confident in his own ability but I just see if Floyd uses the right movement I think he can get the job done and, and get a decision over Canelo. I don't see him stopping Canelo. I know a lot of people are saying Floyd's going to stop Canelo, this, that and the other. Ah, people always get so carried away with Floyd Mayweather. They, people, these same people were saying that Floyd was going to walk down Miguel Cotto and knock him out in like six rounds or something. <laughs> people get so carried away with Mayweather. Um, he, he's not going to stop Canelo um, if they fight. I would probably pick Floyd to win a decision in that fight. I think Canelo's got a chance. Don't get it twisted. Canelo does have a chance. He's a big, strong kid. Um, you know, good boxer. But I just think that 
the movement, you know, Canelo's still got slow feet. His hand speed is definitely improved. He's a good combination puncher, but he's still got slow feet, man. Still got slow feet. And I just think Floyd, even though Floyd's foot speed has slowed himself, you know, he's definitely slowed down in terms of his feet himself. I still think he's, he's, he's got quicker feet than Canelo. And I think he'll be able to use that and his long arms because uh, he's still got a longer reach than Canelo slightly. He'd be able to use that to his advantage and, uh, and get a decision in that fight. So, yeah, it's either going to be Koto or Trout winner, Canelo, or one fight I know Floyd would really love is um, a fight with Tim Bradley. I know he'd love to fight Tim Bradley, and I would definitely pick Floyd Mayweather to beat Tim Bradley. I think Tim Bradley's a good fighter, but I just think he's too short, too small for Floyd Mayweather. His arms are way too short. He's not a big puncher. Um, I just see that as a, as a pretty easy work, actually, for Floyd Mayweather in terms of styles. Um, another possible fight for Mayweather would be Pacquiao. Yeah, it seems strange at this stage, but I wouldn't be surprised if you see that fight now. It, the fight does not have the same appeal that it once had. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. That fight may happen now. You know what I mean? Pacquiao's coming to the end. Bob Arum knows it. So, you know, if, if uh, Pacquiao can get past Marquez in this full fight, we might see the... The Pacquiao-Floyd fight happened after all. I think those are the most likely fights that are going to happen. But Martinez, mm -mm. no way Floyd's going to take the fight um, for the reasons I said. It's too risky. And he knows, he knows, you know, Floyd's in this game for money at this stage. He's not in it for, you know, like I say, he's not a Sugar Ray Leonard or a Roy Jones Jr. jumping up to fight much bigger fighters, tall off, you know, stronger longer armed fighters late in his career he's he don't have that type of mentality he's in boxing right now just to make money that's it just to make money and preserve his o yeah and that's the way he's going to pick his opponents you understand so there's there's going to be no martinez fight i mean i'd be amazed if there is and i'll i'll jump on the floyd may with a bandwagon and give him the most praise in the world just for even taking a martinez fight at this stage but it's not going to happen so um anyway let me know what you lot think in the comment section below about everything I've been discussing. If there's anything I missed out, let me know in the comment section. This is Hatman. I'm out.